Hi my friends and welcome to the sunrise of another day in LEGO Fortnite. Today we have so many tasks to do and I'm starting to feel like that's the same thing I'm starting every video by saying but honestly I have a list here of nine things I've written down that we're going to be doing in this episode of my LEGO Fortnite world and one thing is like showing out in the horizon out here so let's just uh, start by saying that if you're new here to the channel then welcome i'm uh, making lego fortnite content and hopefully you would consider subscribing if you indeed also like lego fortnite content so one of the things we're going to see here is that the first tower i made was this one i made it with stairs all the way up and then i could jump off using my glider then along came the grab and the gravel was good to go all the way up here and then you could glide uh, everywhere you want now the gravel bug uh, or gravel update has been and now we are using these jump pads instead this just looks super unfinished so um but i'm just going to sh show you how it's working like this and now i'm all the way up here i really liked uh, the, uh, using the jump pads for this instead so now uh, since the last video I made, I started like expanding my base here into a double base, actually a triple base if you consider my son's base over there, which I'm going to be expanding into like building all the way over there at some point soon in the future, I think. But now I've started for the first thing, I've started building this part of my base to call it a proper double base so i want to be easy accessing from this base to this base and have the old home like functioning like a farm ish so, so the last time we were here uh, in the last video i started off by building this first roof part of my building here and since the last time i've also built a foundation all the way around the build and i'm just going to show I'm also thinking of tearing down this, but it's it's like a, a memory of a, a great video I made, my tiny junk village. So check a look at this. This is some sort, it, it looks like a fortress, but as you can see, the village actually expands all the way down here. And I'm thinking of making some sort of like sub... Uh, like a lower uh, level thing here but when you if you are out exploring um, and you come running this is how you get into the base right now you just jump up here and then you're in the base you could also like if you time it very well you can jump all the way up here and then actually go up here on the roof which is why i built another jump pad here but i'm um, start i'd like like i'd also have a jump pad here on the roof of the uh, like the original house and I wanted like take a look at this is my fireplace also but I wanted like to have going up here and in the middle as I actually just to the, for the history here in the beginning I had from this platform here I think or it was this platform just a stair going up with the jump pad on it and I really did not like it I want this to be more uh, aesthetic so I also the fireplace here is more aesthetically pleasing I also started like building chests here and with a, a, a workstation on top of it but now I'm building this uh, which I think is a more aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing workstation. I right now have the 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 storage for each each of these workstations just next to it, which I think I might be doing differently at some point. Maybe up against the wall. I don't know, but I like to have it just. Uh, next to the build so but i uh, removed this the stairs going up here and i built this one building into the roof because i like this compartment up here and maybe i'm also going to be building something up here maybe some some lounge area or something so i use this uh, launch pad here to go back and forwards to my house that's why i have this one and this uh, one as well so i could go back and forward to my farm um but i really actually want something that could go directly up to my own house my main house up there from when i am at this part of the world 
and I don't want like launch pads, not launch, launch pads on all and every roof of the building. I'm not quite finished with this one as well. I just see how much material I have. Okay. So I started building this launch pad tower and I really like the, the design of it. it. It reminds me of the old tower over there, but instead of being a staircase, it's just like an elevator and take a look at how cool it, I'm uh, not how cool how fast I'm in the top I think I need to have it one more up here so that my idea with this video today because I cannot skip daylight time and I cannot uh, I'm skip the night time and I need to to be playing during the night uh, as well then I think I'm going to be building during the night and maybe gathering resources during the night but i'm just going to be showing you how i built this thing and uh, i built it with this wall i really like this wall because it looks like scaffolding uh, and i really like the design of this so i'm just going to be building it it's, it's actually fitting that um the, the the height is perfectly just exactly how high you can you can reach by standing on the ground, I learned. So this is the, at least in my experience or in my opinion, the perfect height for a launch pad build. Now I don't need to jump right here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And just going up, going up. Now I cannot stand here where there's nothing, uh, but just going, is it? Yeah, that's good. And then the scaffolding uh, wall here. And again, I can build it as tall as I can do by standing on the ground. And that should be the perfect, oops, perfect height or uh, one more perfect. Yeah, like this. So my idea, I think that this, yeah, in my mind, that is the perfect height. So as exactly as how tall you can reach with uh, from the ground, that's exactly how high you can jump with a jump pad. So I'm going to be extending this in this video. Of course, I'm going to be building it. I think I'm going to be building it during the night. So that's the night skip for you. But I'm just going to be showing you here how I am building this one. So I'm just going to be showing this uh, section of it i don't know exactly how tall i want it to be but i think at, uh, besides this i'm building right now i need it to be at least one jump taller maybe two jumps taller because i can always extend it so i'm not going to be finishing it off i think i'm going to be ending it with a uh, so i'm building these in the corners i like these uh, uh, I think I'm going to be ending it with um, a launch pad at, at the top because I'm hoping and I'm thinking that in the future of LEGO Fortnite then slap juice will maybe be transformed to work exactly like slap juice does in Battle Royale. You know, it's like, um, I think it's 10 seconds or if, oops. 15 seconds of infinite run uh, I need to get up again whoops this is just so perfectly uh, like a, it feels so um, satisfying this way I, feel, uh, I cannot reach that so I need to be like this but it feels so satisfying that that you can actually just reach uh, exactly the top of this this is going to be quite the challenge here uh, but I'm going to be building that in another part of this video so let's but it feels like for me I, I, try, I was trying to say that it feels so satisfying that this is exactly the way I've uh, been building it and I was trying to say that in the future, I think that slap juice, the yellow juice in this game will work exactly like it does in the Battle Royale game. So hopefully you will be able to drink some slap juice and then just uh, have uh, infinite stamina for, let's just say 10 seconds or 15 seconds. And imagine how far you can go from this point for, to the shore biome. My hotel is down here and maybe even build it 
tall enough. This is maximum height. Build it tall enough to glide all the way to the snow biome and to the desert as well. Um, I'm going to be finishing off this uh, part. Please tell me in the comments if you actually uh, don't like me uh, building in the video and just like me uh, showing the builds in the video because I'm not actually sure what part of the video you enjoy the most but I can see from the the growth of the channel that you are enjoying the the channel so I just don't know exactly which part of the channel that's the best for you oh I did it with a gap in here I think I can ooh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> can I build in the uh, uh, like this? Oh. Ah. ah! So I don't know if you actually like to see me build or you just like to see me like do time lapse build and maybe not like real builds. Um, but please leave a comment and ow! Tell me about this. And I was ah, that wasn't what I wanted it to do. So, yeah, I, sh I think I should have made these before I made the scaffolding. I'll know that the next time because this isn't like really the the way to do it. And, and there and there. The nice thing about building um, with the transparent builds like this is, of course, you get the daylight in and you also uh, it's possible to see through when you are working on it. Oh, how many am I missing here? This is this is getting kind of hard, but at least I don't have to build. I actually thought that in the beginning that I would have to build stairs all the way up here. So this was uh, one part one part of the build, and then I, my idea is that I put down these, and it is. I'm a calculation exactly what is it five one two three six right and then add toys yep now I have another jump I think I'm getting to have a oh I can really go far now I'm getting to the part where I don't really it's not really possible to get um at some point, maybe the the next point, I will run out of stamina. I think the you know towers are not a thing that's really that uh, pretty inside of builds like this. But I think like this kind of build, this kind of tower here, looks like a, like an industrial elevator or something. That I, I think it's kind of cool. So. Um, but also, let's uh, see, this is the decorations here. Let's talk with all the villagers. So you can see what villagers that's in this build, uh, village. Oh, oh leg, 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 leg. Oh, let's, um, she's working on copper bar. And let's see, I got 30 from her. And this guy, wood, silk, and granite. Okay. Wasn't what I... No, I'm not... You're, you haunt my dreams, Cuddle Team Leader. If you are, have been here on the channel since the beginning, you know that Cuddle Team Leader has been following me around. Oh, you had so much stuff. Uh, uh, tomato. Power bar. So my plan is here. You can already see that I'm starting to produce a lot of copper bar at this, let's say, factory or base here. Because I really... My idea with this double base is that I'm going to be processing or uh, producing foods over here. And then I'm going to be producing over here all the rest uh, I need to build grapplers. Because I actually think that uh, grapplers is still something that you should be using in the game. I just think that uh, they are somewhat harder to come by. But getting all the way up to my uh, snow biome village and back again took me only like 10 or 15 grapplers. And that's up all the way up there. But I know that when I'm going to be searching for more iron in the future... I simply just not going to be uh, spelunking in caves without any grappler so that's not, even though that people said that uh, grapplers are dead and we're not never going to be using grapplers anymore 
I'm thinking that's kind of uh, like overstating in a bit. I am still going to be using Revelers. But now it's nighttime in the game and I'm just going to be like gathering resources and playing throughout the night and I'll see you again when it's morning. And it's daytime again and I'm actually just been starting to building some other of my machines over here. And I think uh, this is going to be my loom station over here. Don't know if this can actually fit. This is so big. Um, so maybe I'm just going to be making this. I really like the idea of have one building for each things. Like oh, I know there's of course two things down here, but the um, hmm. Loom build here. Maybe, 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 maybe. Ah, I think this needs to be two. So this is the this is the way I'm doing this. I like to like hold it like an aesthetic platform for each of these. So I forgot to tell you that the other things we're going to be working on in this video is I'm going to tell you like the entire idea about this a uh, double build or double what called double city mega double city or in the future maybe even a triple city can can i actually fit two of these mm. Mm. maybe maybe here because i need some okay yeah the idea about this a uh, double city ah maybe i do this instead yeah this uh, double city thing is that um of course you can get instead of only getting uh, oh this doesn't align this is a good ah, i need to be i'm sorry i'm just uh, correcting my build here the, the idea about the double city mega city that i'm starting to say this instance a few times is that in a double city like this you can get 15 villagers to work for you instead of only five not only of course in a double city it's only 10 villagers but in a triple city you can get 15 villagers to work for you that's the maximum uh, village account you can get in a world it's 15 villagers as of this point but this double city will be able to have uh, five villages here and five all villages the other place and this now i have this here and i can also build the uh, other name me, name me i have the sand this i think i can build the yeah the loom and and then you can have five villages each place just working for you so now i have these parts as well and just by talking to my villagers in my other base i actually have uh, starting to i need to di in this chest so uh, my organization at some point needs to like this chest it's going to house the materials that i need to start building out um travelers. and now i'm just going to be putting cord in this one so now I'm going to get cord from that one. Uh, but this needs to be all the material for gravel. I know I have this, yes. So 24 blast powers. That's a level, that's six. Uh, that's, I don't know how many. That's a lot of uh, gravelers. Um, so um, I can just at some point build gravelers. How do I need to? Not root rods, marble slab, and shell. Do I actually have those? I think I have the not root rod. Yes, I have those. Not root rod. And model slab as well. Like this. And then I can maybe upgrade it. Stand chill. Stand chill. Like this. So now I'm actually able to build the grappler at this station, which this whole factory is like to be building grapplers. That's the whole idea with this this second part of my base here do i made the upgrade i can cover bar and a brute scale i actually have a brute scale up here and uh, just going to be getting it so we can get this to the maximum height and i see i, I use this jump thing here i think i'm going to be using that part of the build the the jump tower i'm going to be using the jump tower when i'm going to go on my travels but hey um 
the jump tower is still a really cool addition. The other thing that in this video I am also think I'm going to be doing is that if you are going to stay with me for a longer time in the video, I want to, to maybe start adding some housing for the villages. See, uh, I don't have any more room. This, I need brute scale, that's not in down here. But I'm thinking like building some small houses for the villagers, maybe on the lower level. I don't really know yet what, and this is my secret chest down here. And I get one normal root gate. Take. See, we used to have, did you see I have 29? We used to have a brute spawn right down here somewhere and I just killed it and killed it and killed it and killed it um, I think I'm going to be putting down my normal I have so many things here um, yeah okay I killed so many brutes down here and there was a brute spawn down here and down here as well so I had this 29 so I have a lot of these brute scales so I need copper and obsidian to upgrade and that's the thing that's the funny thing that is that copper and obsidian is going to getting to be some of the easier materials simply because your uh, villages can get that for you now we have a maximum uh, now we have a maximum crafting table here. Yubi! And this essence table is of course to upgrade the stuff we have we are building here. Um I think I'm going to be putting down some of these materials. I really don't need I need to be cleaning up my clutter here, but just because I brought so many things from my other base in order to upgrade this one. Um Putting this in, and what we are not going to be using that one. Yeah, I use uh, the the chest with the obsidian and the copper bar because I think it's a nice combination of uh, resources that's quite easy easy to come by. I think down there I have two chests for each, and I know that in the future I might not be. Hmm, I think maybe one chest is enough in this oh i have an idea bum, 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 bum. please 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 make it fit oh this doesn't fit oh it fits so i need this please 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 not this one uh, this one no not this one what is the uh, maybe this one this here this here and then this here, this here, and then this, and this, and then we have a storage here. This is so nice. And then we also uh, as a lighting in this period. Oh. <laughs> it's funny that uh, vines is getting to be the thing that I'm going to be using and needing the most particular process. I'm just converting almost all my vines to court. Uh, I don't have a spare vines, but I maybe want to gather some of those in my next night time, night shift of working. Because I want to be lighting this place with these copper lights that I'm using here. I really like those. Well, let's start by building another house around this. I'm thinking that I'm going to be using the same design that I've been using in the rest of the build. So I'm just going to show you how I've been building all of this stuff. Uh, that's uh, in here and two times in, two times there. And up. Because uh, the, the idea is that you can really have this outside because then you cannot be using all those deems, these uh, stations here. So that's, I, I actually have to, uh, what? Um, yeah. Have to be using, uh, I have to do it inside otherwise uh yeah I, I think it's that the oh so just like yeah uh, and then uh, for the walls I like the I like really like the idea with them um, 
with the the fence around and then the wall anyways even though we have a fence really like that um, i'm just going to be this and this and again just oh it doesn't work sometimes uh like this that's where a graveler could have been nice Um, please again tell me in the comments below if you don't like to see me actually build because but I know that some of you have been requesting for me to build in these videos so I don't exactly know what to think uh, here um, but please leave a comment what you think so now it's the it's getting night time again and I will see you back here in the morning in the video and let's see how far I've managed to come in the night time here or is it still day? No, it's night time. It's actually not uh, true. I'm, I'm back, but it's actually not like truly night time or daytime. I don't know what this is. Maybe they are actually adjusting how dark it is at the night. But as you can see, I've been working a lot of on this house. And it, maybe it was quite boring for you to see that as well. So now you can just see how far I've got now uh, here. And luckily, I have already uh, all of these jump pads all over my city. So I can... Hopefully that worked. Oh, I, that wasn't the way I've been using. This wasn't the way I've been building the rest. So I need to make it. The, the rest of the house is actually just not not straight on it. I, I have um the rest. I have like this. I have a plate, and then like this. I think. Nah. Oh my eyes. Uh, it's not the exact measurement. Okay. So now it's night time and I'm going to be working throughout the night and see you back. And we're back to daylight time. So throughout the night I have actually been uh, organizing a bit. As you can see here I'm starting to create my chest with all the materials needed for the uh, the, the crapplers. So just take a look at this. I That's um, maybe... At least six grapplers uh, can be produced from what I am um, have on me right now, and I'm just going to in here have uh, for chests. And the reason I have these three materials on me is, of course, so I can make more of the jump pads. Now look at the building I created up here. Um, I made arches for this one so you can get it. I really like those arches more than I like these open. Maybe I will. I, I like that this build has this, this enormous entrance right here. But I also like that the build up here doesn't have that. So they are not exactly the same. Maybe I should also build it all down here. Hmm, it's walls and then... Uh, I don't know if it's will fit no not right now now i have the materials that i need to make some lights that go in here in the room and um, i don't ah where's the vines the vines is here like this so i need i want to have like two there or one there and one there and then one. Uh, okay, that's too broad, so let's just put it there. I'm hungry, I'm always hungry. Oh. So now I have light in this room as well. I don't exactly know what I'm going to be using this balcony for. Mm, but um, yeah, that's uh, maybe for another time if you have any idea. Also, I'm going to be expanding the wall all the way here. But I don't really know yet what I'm going to do. I think maybe I'll close off the the top, and then maybe have a, a like a, a sub like a, a first floor build that maybe connects all the way to this house. Uh, and this house uh, should be at some point the storage house. And that's um, the way I know that this is, should be the storage house is that right now you cannot really see it, but there is a 
secret uh, storage on top of it. So I can go down here, go down all the way around here, and there is a chest here. There's nothing in it right now, but that's a secret storage room in this house. And this house should be the storage house. I'm going to be uh, decorating now because I think that uh, that's one of the things you like uh, me to do, decorating. And the, the thing, really, I've seen so much um, stuff with plants in the builds, but I can't seem to be finding these plants. So maybe this is because I am uh, in Lego survival and all of these decorations are maybe in, not in survival mode. I, I really like the idea of having uh, lights in this. Uh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Ah, oh, just broke my legs. Uh, but having lights in this build, like this, all the way to the end. So, ah, I need to move that. So, because it's made of cover, they are really durable, these lights. Like this, so we have like maybe also maybe in each uh, no i cannot do that when i go up but um i need some more vines to be able to build that uh, more lights but i need i think going in here that this looks great and i could just go up all the way up here but i need to get this uh, wall in here because even at a distance that was annoying me so so much and so I'm just going to be looking at the list. We are talk have talked about double. Uh, I want to make some decorations, but um, just for the top of my head, I, I really don't exactly know how to decorate it. And right now, all my villagers are sleeping down here in that box. So I need to know where my village uh, area is ending. Yeah. So I was thinking like maybe making some tiny houses down here, but I also don't want them to have so far up here to get to work. Um, maybe they should be sleeping in the back. Maybe they should be sleeping up here at the roof, or maybe we need to make some terrace thing here or a kitchen thing here. But I think actually that it could be funny to make a, a, a house in the same design and make this the we're just going to be trying this and see how it looks um i'm making a house on top of my house for all the villages to, villages to stay where am i mm, boom, 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 boom. where are my walls with the window to the wall um windows window okay they are looking straight into a wall um oh that's uh maybe an ah that doesn't work with this one um could be maybe a cool idea to not have it not have it uh, uh have a wall all the way around it um not this, that it is an excuse, but they have the light going. I'm going to be seeing how it looks like. I'm just going to be building and just to show you how I'm building the roof on this. I need to have this all the way out here. And one, one, two, one, here. Yeah, that's the way I'm building. Um, that won't... Yeah, I think it will fit. Let's go see. Yeah, it should be... It fits so perfectly. Everything is mathematically fitting in that uh, exact measurements. But I'm thinking that by doing this like this, and then my support beam just oh here, and then my support beam here. Like this, and then we're going to be building the roof, like, just like I did the, on the other one. I need to go up here. Oh, I can't, but I can do this. No, I can't. I can go up here. Ah, I'm such bad at moving right now. Uh, need the part for the, this one I was looking for. And then just go up here. 
Oh yeah, if you didn't know, you can take fall damage from these uh, jump pads, so that's cool. Is it? Yeah, it's... And then just fit close off the roof. Not that I think that we should be making anything on this roof, but I think that uh, this will be a perfect uh, little house for all of my villagers. To just take uh, this one, close it off, close this off, and close. Okay, close this off, and then let me out. Close this off. How does this look? So, I don't know if that should be my villager's house or this should be some sort of uh, like a terrace or something uh, up here. I, I'm leaning towards a terrace and recreational th home. Not a. Yeah, not a retirement home, but some recreational stuff up in the top, um, like this one. And then maybe find somewhere uh, a way to maybe build... Uh, maybe I'll try to closing this off and... Ah, oh, it doesn't fit. Maybe I... Um, boom, 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 boom. I need to... Because I did some hacks here to make this fit. Um, does interior wall fit? No, nothing fits here. Yeah. So I can't really close this off. Maybe I can do some sitting area in here or maybe some flowers. I don't know really how to make flowers. So if you have any ideas, please tell me in the comments. So um, I think I've shown you enough for this uh, video here. If you have any ideas for me and for the next build, so then please let me know. I am going to be expanding this even further. Uh, this is going to be going even further up in the future. And... Uh, I am going to be expanding this uh, base to be a more form like base and this the sports center I need if there's another ideas on to build sports and then I'm going to be of course expanding my sun village that's uh, over there in the future to make this a triple village but uh, thank you so much for watching this time and hopefully if you have any ideas in, uh, for me in the future you can leave a comment and consider subscribing when you are this far along in the video thank you for watching bye bye